the midday or sixth hour prayers of the Coptic Agbeya. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Kyrioleison, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord bless us, Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and for ever, and unto the ages of ages, Amen. Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever. Amen. Let us give thanks to the beneficent and merciful God, the Father of our Lord God and Saviour Jesus Christ. For he has covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to himself, spared us, supported us, and has brought us to this hour. Let us also ask him, the Lord our God, the Pantocrator, to guard us in all peace this holy day and all the days of our life. O Master, Lord God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Saviour Jesus Christ, we thank you for everything, concerning everything and in everything. For you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to yourself, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Therefore we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace with your fear. All envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel of wicked men and the rising up of enemies hidden and manifest, take them away from us and from all your people and from this holy place which is yours. But those things which are good and profitable do provide for us. For it is you who have given us the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and upon all the power of the enemy. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one, through the grace, compassion and love of mankind, of your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Saviour Jesus Christ, through whom the glory, the honour, the dominion and the worship are due unto you, with him and the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, who is of one essence with you, now and at all times, and unto the age of all ages. Amen. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the multitude of your compassions blot out my iniquity. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin, for I am conscious of my iniquity, and my sin is at all times before me. Against you only I have sinned and done evil before you, that you might be just in your sayings and might overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins my mother conceived me. For behold, you have loved the truth, you have manifested to me the hidden and unrevealed things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with your hyssop, and I shall be purified. You shall wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. You shall make me to hear gladness and joy, the humbled bones shall rejoice. Turn away your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit in my inward parts. Do not cast me away from your face, and do not remove your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a directing spirit. Then I shall teach the transgressors your ways, and the ungodly men shall turn to you. Deliver me from blood, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would have given it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God shall not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you shall be pleased with sacrifices of righteousness, offering and burnt sacrifices, and then they shall offer calves upon your altar. Alleluia. 
The prayer of the sixth hour of this blessed day we offer to Christ our King and our God, beseeching him to forgive us our sins. From the Psalms of our teacher David, the prophet and king, may his blessings be upon us all. Amen. Save me, O God, by your name, and judge me by your power. O God, hear my prayer, hearken to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and mighty men have sought my soul. They have not set God before them. For behold, God helped me, and the Lord is the protector of my soul. He shall return the evil things to my enemies, utterly wipe them out by your truth. I will willingly sacrifice to you. I will confess your name, O Lord, for it is good. For you have delivered me out of every affliction, and my eye has looked down upon my enemies. Alleluia. Holy, 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 a reading from the Holy Gospel according to our teacher St. Matthew. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. And seeing the multitudes, he went up on the mountain. And when he was seated, his disciples came to him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile you and persecute you, and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavour, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Glory be to God for ever. Amen. May the sayings of God be fulfilled in peace. We worship you, O Christ, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit, for you have risen and saved us. Have mercy on us. O you who on the sixth day and in the sixth hour was nailed to the cross, For the sin which our father Adam dared to commit in paradise, tear the handwriting of our sins, O Christ our God, and save us. I cried to God, and the Lord heard me. God, hear my prayer, and do not refuse my petition. Be attentive to me, and hear me in the evening, in the morning, and at midday. I say my words, and he hears my voice, and delivers my soul in peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Jesus Christ, our God, who was nailed to the cross in the sixth hour, and killed sin by the tree, and by your death you made alive the dead man whom you created with your own hands, and who had died in sin. Put to death our pains by your healing and life-giving passions, and by the nails with which you were nailed, Rescue our minds from thoughtlessness of the earthly deeds and worldly lusts, to the remembrance of your heavenly commandments, according to your compassion, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since we have no favour nor excuse nor justification because of our many sins, we through you implore to him who was born of you, O Theotokos the Virgin, for abundant and acceptable is your intercession with our Saviour. O Holy Mother, do not exclude sinners from your intercession with him whom you bore, for he is merciful and able to save us, because he suffered for us to deliver us. Let your compassion speedily reach us, for we are exceedingly humbled. Help us, O God, our Saviour, for the glory of your name, 
O Lord, deliver us and forgive us for the sake of your holy name, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. You wrought salvation in the midst of all the earth, O Christ our God, as you stretched your holy hands on the cross. Therefore all nations cry out, saying, Glory be to you, O Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. We worship your incorruptible person, O good one, asking for the forgiveness of our sins, O Christ our God. For of your will you were pleased to be lifted up onto the cross, to deliver those whom you created from the bondage of the enemy. We cry out unto you and give thanks to you, for you have filled all with joy, O Saviour, when you came to help the world. Lord, glory be to you now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. You are she who is full of grace, O Theotokos the Virgin. We praise you, for through the cross of your Son, Hades fell down and death was abolished. We were dead, but we are raised and have become worthy of eternal life and have gained the delight of the first paradise. Therefore, we thankfully glorify the immortal Christ our God. O Lord, hear us and have mercy on us and forgive us our sins. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Holy, holy, holy Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory and honour. Have mercy on us, O God the Father, the Pantocrator. O Holy Trinity, have mercy upon us. O Lord God of hosts, be with us, for we have no helper in our hardships and tribulations but you. Absolve, forgive, and remit, O God, our transgressions, those which we have committed willingly, and those which we have committed unwillingly, those which we have committed knowingly, and those which we have committed unknowingly, the hidden and the manifest. O Lord, forgive us for the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us. Let it be according to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our sins. Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. We thank you, our King, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Saviour, Jesus Christ. And we glorify you, for you have made the times of the passions of your only begotten Son to be times of comfort and prayer. Accept unto you our supplication, and abolish the handwriting of our sins that is written against us, just as you tore it in this holy hour by the cross of your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and the Saviour of our souls. This is by which you destroyed all the power of the enemy. Grant us, O God, a glorious time, a spotless conduct and a peaceful life, so that we may please your holy and worshipped name, and that without falling into condemnation, we may stand before the fearful and just throne of your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and that we, together with all your saints, may glorify you, the Father who is without beginning, the Son who is of one essence with you, and the Holy Spirit, the life-giver, 
now and for ever and unto the ages of all ages. Amen. Have mercy on us, O God, and have mercy on us, who at all times and in every hour in heaven and on earth is worshipped and glorified. Christ our God, the good, the long-suffering, the abundant in mercy and the great in compassion, who loves the righteous and has mercy on the sinners, of whom I am the chief, who does not wish the death of the sinner, but rather that he returns and lives, who calls all to the salvation for the promise of the good things to come. Lord, receive from us our prayers in this hour and in every hour. Ease our life and guide us to fulfil your commandments. Sanctify our spirits, cleanse our bodies, conduct our thoughts, purify our intentions, heal our diseases, forgive our sins, deliver us from every evil grief and distress of heart, Surround us by your holy angels, that by their presence we may be guarded and guided, and attain the unity of faith, and the knowledge of your imperceptible and infinite glory. For you are blessed for ever. Amen.